I'm almost there. Okay, so what Seriously, situation I'm... would you like to improve? Uh, I think that, uh, mm, well, I have studied them all. Maybe, uh, did we do cafeteria last time? That last time? I don't remember, but maybe we can do viajes and see yes, how you do. do that. Yes, let's do that. Uh, so, okay, so let's just load this unit and... Well, I'm just gonna silence the TV. It's, it's <laughs> so strange because here in Denmark, uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's really, really hot. The sun is burning and it's mm -hmm. 30 degrees, which is uh, never happened in Denmark. Uh, never? So, never. So we only have 25 degrees. That's the highest that you can get here. That's good. Uh, I mean, that's yeah, okay. Um, yeah, that's okay. But now mm. there is this uh, heat wave coming to Denmark and the news mm. is going crazy about it. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, yeah. like I was watching the news yesterday about um, that explosion. In, I don't remember in what country it was, but... It was in but, ba Beirut. Something, yeah. I mean, yeah. like it, 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 it collapsed the it the did. the health system and everything. I mean, it's it's very fucked up. Yeah, it is. It is. It it was so. an accident, but it is also stupid to be having uh, explosive in a building. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was thinking about like who the hell put those explosives? I mean, it wasn't an explosive. It was a chemical that it's explosive. And I was yeah. like, what the hell? I mean, how idiot have you got that to be is. to do that? Like, yes. to have a, an explosive chemical in the main port that brings in the food. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. hey, seriously, yeah. how much common sense do you need to figure that out? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, 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 I know. But it's, it's, it's in the Middle East, Middle West, or what yeah. is it? The Middle yeah. East. And Middle then, East. Yeah, and that don't they don't value people life that much. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, like it, it was probably some asshole politician who wanted to save some money to not move those chemical that chemical exactly. and yeah. something like that. I mean, it's it's just ridiculous. Yes, it is. But, it is. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this one. Repeat after me. Pasaporte. Pasaporte. Por favor. Por favor. <clears throat> yeah. So, what would the correct answer be? It's a passport, please. Yeah, how do you say supermarket? Uh, supermercado. And I have. Uh, uh, yo, yo tengo. Yo tengo. Por, yo tengo, por favor. Yeah, good. Okay. So this one, where is your passport? Based on what's given down the screen, what do you think the translation is? It's a tante está. To mm -hmm. pasaporte. Good, yeah. Eh, ¿Dónde está mi bolsa? Pronunciation. Eh, ¿Dónde está mi bolsa? Is uh, where is my bag? Mm -hmm. Where is my bag? How about here? How do you say here? Aquí. And there. Eh, está. Allá. Allá. Oh, yeah. Allá. Yeah. How do you say over here? Um. Is uh, ella aquí? Por aquí. Por aquí, yes. And how do you say over there? Eh, por allá. Or mm -hmm. something like that, yeah. Por allá, yeah. Por okay. allá, yeah. Uh, this one. So, to the airport. How would you say this in Spanish? Um, to the uh, hacienda, hacienda, hacia uh, el uh, aeropuerto, hacia el aeropuerto, el aeropuerto, yeah. yeah. Let's do it again, hacia, hacia, el, el, aero, aero, puerto, puerto, aero, puerto, puerto, puerto. Yeah, now, there is something tricky about this sentence. It's the fact that I would translate it like this, al aeropuerto. Oh, al aeropuerto. 
Pietro. Okay. This is also correct. I think this is the most accurate translation for to the airport, but I think Duolingo hasn't got it as an option. We'll see. Okay. The one that we also that that we did before this one, Asia el aeropuerto, it's also okay. But I would say that that Asia, um, the translation of this word is towards towards mm. the airport. Okay, oh. so that's my opinion regarding the most accurate translation for these words. Yeah. Okay. How about donde? How do you translate donde? Donde is uh, where. Yeah. Okay. It, it was oh, correct. It did. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this one, pronunciation after me, en el? En el? Hotel. Hotel. Yeah, what's this in um, English? In the hotel. In the hotel. Yeah. How do you say back? Uh, we just had it. Oh, my God. We just had it. Mm, bolsa. Yeah, bolsa, yeah. And reservation. Uh, reservation? No. Reserva. Reserva, yeah. Once again, reserva. 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 Good. Um, so let's see the next one. Uh, a supermarket. Uh, un supermercado. Good. Um, what's the translation of está? Uh, estás here? Uh, is. Is. Oh, yeah. I mean, she is, he is, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, nombre. What's the translation of hombre? Hombre. Is that uh, he or him or man? Man. Yeah, yeah. man. Man, yeah. yes. This one, pronunciation after me. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Mi dinero. Mi dinero. What's the translation of this? Uh, where is my money? Where's my money? Yeah. Uh, how do you say restroom? Uh, that was... Uh, I forgot. Baño. It, yeah, baño. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, okay, the other one is very intuitive. So, yeah. um, this one, where is a supermarket? How do you say that in Spanish? ¿Dónde está el supermercado? Nice, yeah, good. Oh, I've been studying. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. That's that's definitely a way to go. So, how do yeah. you translate to all that? That is your back. Go back. Yeah. How do you say reserve? No, we already did that. <laughs> yeah. So a taxi to the airport. How do you say that? Uh, un taxi. Mm -hmm. El aeropuerto. Al, al aeropuerto. Okay. Uh, Repeat that for me. Un taxi. Un taxi. Al. Al. Aero. Aero. Puerto. Puerto. Ayedo. Puerto. 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 I I can't say that. Ayedo. Yeah, you can. You just you just need to pronounce like Puerto. each one of the vowels. So aero once again. Aero. Puerto. Puerto. Aero. Puerto. So let's do it separated so puerto puerto so how do you say this puerta puerta so so i want you to put the r before before the t okay so it's not tra but rta so it's puerta puerta yeah, puerta so i want you to pronounce after me ta ta just like that. Puerta. 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 So, exactly. Don't do not put an R in between the T and the and the A. Just ta. Okay? Ta. So once again, puerta. 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 Yeah. Puerto. Puerto. Exactly. Aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. Puerto. So yeah, remember, do not put an R in between 
between the T and the O because you're saying puetro. Okay, yeah. so I want you to put the R before the T so it sounds okay. So once again, puerto. 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 Okay, so to. To. Puer. 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 Puerto. Yeah. Puerto. Puerto. Puer. Puerto. Yeah. Good. Um, how do you say, um, oh God, let me just think about a word, um, mm, port. I want you to pronounce this one, port. Port. Is, is that uh, a, a port? Yeah, yeah. Kind? The English yeah. word, yeah. Yeah. So the, kind of the, the same thing. Let's do it again. So aero. Aero. Puerto. Puerto. Good, good. Yeah. Uh, so let's see the next one. Let's see how you do. So this one, yo tengo pronunciation. Yo tengo una una bolsa. Bolsa. What's this? Uh, I have a bag. I have a bag. Nice. Good. Um, to the airport, please. Uh, al aeropuerto. Puerto. Puerto. Por favor. Por favor. Okay, good. So, let's do it again. Uh, so, again, I want you to pronounce this one. Puerta. Puerta. Puer. Puer. Puerta. Exactly. That's definitely it. So, this one. Puerto. 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 So I want you to do the same thing that you are doing with Puerta. What's the translation of Puerta in English? Do you know? Uh, is that a gate in some kind? A door. Door, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, okay, so again, Puerta. Puerta. Puer. Puerta. Exactly, yeah. The most important thing is do not put an R between the T and the vowel. So let's do puerto. 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 Yes, good. I mean, like, it's okay if you pronounce the R like in English. Puerto is okay. Okay, so puerto, once again. Puerto. Yeah, so aero. Aero. Puerto. 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 I don't. Yeah. It is so funny that I'm being Latin American by birth, but I can't speak it. <laughs> well, I mean, you weren't raised in Latin America yourself. No, I was. So, no. So, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Like, um, I've got a, another student from Austin in the States, Texas, and um, he's actually got very strange roots because, I mean, like, his roots are like, Persians, like his grandparents were Persians or something like that, or it, like one, like one of them were Persians and the other, the others were like Italian. They moved to to Argentina, yeah, and they, and they, and they were raised. I, I mean, his parents, my students' parents, were raised in Argentina. But my student, like, and his parents moved to, to, um, to the states, and he was raised in the states. Mm. So it's 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 kind of the same thing. Like he can speak Spanish, but it's a very broken Spanish. Mm. So yeah, of course. Yeah. So I mean, like, his mother tried to talk to him in Spanish as much as she could, but eventually he 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 adopted English as his own. So he's more of an American sort of person than, than a Latin American one. So when you talk to him, you, you kind of tell. You're like, hmm, he's like very Americanized, so to yeah. speak. But, yes. but, but, but the more you talk to him, you're like, ah, but there's something, there's something about him that you just don't, can't tell where he's from. Like, where, so you need to ask him, like, where are you uh, from? And then well, uh, you realize that he's got all these different roots from all over the place. So that that's make it that makes it quite interesting in my opinion. Yeah, that yeah, that sounds interesting. 
So let's do this one pronunciation after me. Tu pasaporte. Tu pasaporte. Tu pasaporte. Yeah, what's this? Uh, your passport. Your passport. Yeah. Good. Um, in the hotel. Uh, uh, in el hotel. Yeah, let's do the big more a bit smoother not quicker but smoother like try to bring the words together as opposed to pronouncing each one of them and sounding like a robot so more like en el hotel en el hotel so you see you're, you're stopping in each word do you realize that no no so i want you to not stop i want you to say it non-stop en el hotel en el hotel do you see Yeah. You're saying en el, so I don't want you to do that. I want I don't want you to say en el, but en el, en el, en, en el hotel. Exactly, en el hotel. En el hotel. Don't stop. Straight. En el yeah. hotel. En el hotel. So I'm going to show you in the notes, in the floating note, because this is something that it's important, and it's what we do in all languages. We bring the words together, so that will enable you to speak more natural. So, so think of it like this, en el hotel, like just one word. Think of it like just one word, en el hotel. En el hotel. No, that wasn't one word, that was like two. So again, en el hotel. En el hotel. You see, you stopped. So I don't I want do. you to stop. Yeah. yeah. So again, en el hotel. En el hotel. Pronounce it. So I want you to see the word that I wrote which is like pretty much a pronunciation of those three words, but I want you to pronounce them like just one word. I want you to be aware of this because I know that, that when you, well, you speak other languages, but, but, um, but at the beginning you don't realize this. And uh, I think it's a rule for all languages, although I only know two, but I think it applies to all of them. Like we don't actually speak like a robot. We bring all the words together and, and, uh, Like the only important fact is that you know how to stress them. If you know how to stress each one of the words that you're saying or reading, then people will be able to understand what you're saying, even though you're speaking straight in with, with a straight speech, if you will. So, yeah. so it's like like what I'm doing in English. Like I am not speaking like this, right? I'm not stopping. I'm just I'm just speaking straight. You see. So yeah. I want you to do that as well with these words and um, because that is what it's going to, to make you sound more of a native speaker. Of course, people will be able to tell, but the, the more fluent you sound, of course, the better, right? So Yes, of course, of course, yeah. So let's do it again, in el hotel. In el hotel. Yeah, so I want you to see the one in the black note. The one that yeah. I wrote down, like it's just one word. I'm not saying in el hotel, no. Or I'm not saying in el hotel. I'm not stopping. I want you to read it straight in el hotel. In el hotel. That was perfect. That's how a, how a native speaker would say it. Okay? Yeah. So keep that in mind because that's how you will be able to speak fluent. I um, think, yeah, I think what I have to think about is that I have to jump the word because in in danish we we say what one as a, one each word when we speak so and i just seriously I, yes seriously uh so, so it's not a straight speech is it like no. like stopping all the time no no it's like we pronounce almost every word i mean like i'm not saying that you don't it's just that it's a straight speech yeah i understand yeah okay yeah. So, so it's, we do pronounce all the words, each one of the walls. As a matter of fact, I think that in Spanish, uh, it's even more than in English because in Spanish, we actually pronounce each one of the vowels. Like you, you are to pronounce each one of the vowels you run into every time you're speaking or reading. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But, your yeah. Speech, but your speech is to be smooth as well. Like yeah. you're not to stop if there is no uh, period or a comma or something like that. Like those are, yeah, like uh, writing marks. Uh, what what is it like? Um, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, but yeah, I, I got I got this understanding yeah. that I so, have to sound like I'm singing. 
like Italian. You can say that. Yeah. 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 And mm -hmm. we do it different in Danish. We don't sing when we speak. Okay. okay. So that's that's, that's yeah. That that's very interesting. You just have to have but that in probably, mind. Probably, but it's it's just probably because I, well, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. Um, like I haven't seen. Like I haven't had any any contact with with that language. Um, but it's probably that's my guess. It's probably because it's got a lot of consonants. So it kind mm. of makes you sound like you're stopping in some words or something like uh, yeah exactly and anyway, also because we'll have to study a bit more about it yeah what, what what were you saying because of what but people often say that danish sounds like when you speak with a potato in your mouth mm. yeah well, and that's what people say about british accents so yeah exactly so but it is well, a no northern country. It's, it's, <laughs> okay, so let's do a pronunciation of this one. So, donde esta? Donde esta? La estación. La estación. 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 Once again, estación. So, the C is like an S. Estación. Estación. Yeah, so let's do it all together. Donde esta la estación? Donde esta la estación? Good, yeah. Okay, so I want you to, to, to keep that in mind. The, the, the more straight you say the words in Spanish, the better. Yes. Like the, only, the only important thing when speaking is the stressing of each one of the words. Like if you're stressing them properly, it, there's no problem if you bring them all together because people will be able to understand what you mean, mm. what you're saying. So that's yeah. no problem. The thing is, like you, you do need and you do have to know where the stresses are of each word so you don't, you don't get misunderstood by people. Of I'm course. going to give you an example. For example, in English, I could ask you like, hey, how's it going, right? You would understand that. Mm -hmm. But something along the lines of, hey, how's it going? Mm. Do you see? It sounds weird. It's like, what? I mean, like... Yeah. It's the same words, but the stressing was different. Yes, of course. Right? So that's going to kind of make people wonder what you're saying. Like, uh, what uh, did you say? Yeah. Because of, it's not the words, but the stressing of them. So yeah, that's exactly. the important thing. So uh, definitely something to keep in mind. And yeah. uh, what's the translation of this one? Is uh, Where is the station? Where is the station? Nice. How do you say restroom? Baño. Good, yeah. This one, pronunciation after me. Yo tengo. Yo tengo. Una reserva. Una reserva. What's this? That, uh, do you have a reservation? Like, no, I, I have. have. I have a reservation. Good. Reservation. I have a reservation. Good. Mi reserva. Mi reserva. Reserva. What's this? Is uh, your reservation? My reservation. My reservation. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see what else we can. We Ooh. should actually. We should actually um, have a look at these notes. Um, okay. So, okay, these were the notes that we had a look at today. So, what is Aja? Aja is uh, here. There. There, sorry, yeah. Yeah, what is por aquí? That is here. Over here. Over here, yeah. What okay. is por allá? Over there. Over there, yes. What is bolsa? That is back back yeah reserva that's reservation yeah reservation reservation baño a restroom restroom oh, yeah yeah exactly it can be restroom yeah. re a bathroom public toilet um pronunciation of this one aeropuerto that's uh, airport yeah and the pronunciation in spanish 
Aero Petro, Potro. A, aero. A, aero. Puerto. Puerto. Aero Petro. So let's divide it in three in three syllables. So aero. Aero. Puer. Puer. To. To. Aero. 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 Puer. 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 To. To. Aeropuerto. Aeropetro. Puerto. Puerto. Oh my god. So remember, yeah. Now I want <laughs> you to be aware of your of your of your mild muscles because it's uh, that's all this is about. Yeah. It's about being aware what you are doing with your mouth. It's something that we're not used to and uh, we, we've actually got muscles in our mouth. So that's why it can be tricky to pronounce some words. Um, especially like the most important thing, like the more aware you are of what you are doing with your mouth and tongue to make yeah. this, the, the more able you will be to, to pronounce the words in um, other languages, not only Spanish, but I would say that that the language is overall because I have talked to people they have shown me about German French um, uh, Portuguese Italian and uh, I got very very aware of my of my of my movements with my mouth and my my tongue and my my throat sometimes that, yeah. that it, 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 it's kind of more intuitive for me to be able to pronounce um, the 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 the, the the words of other languages, even if I don't know what they mean, because I already tried it. And uh, one of the reasons why is because I learned about phonetics regarding English, which have so many phonetics. I mean, like we've got a lot in English. I don't know about your language, but I think that with, the, with English, you can actually, I dare to say, ignoring the fact that I, that I don't speak any more languages, I would dare to say that um, it's possible to pronounce any language. I, I, I think that, but you need to be aware of that. Mm. So that's why I, I'm, I'm pointing out that yes. the thing in this word that you're probably not doing so well is, is that you are kind of putting an R in between the T and the O at the end. Mm. I want you to put the R before the T. Before, not, not in between the T and the O. Okay? So yeah. let's do it again. Aero. Aero. Puer. 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 To. To. Yeah. So when you say the whole word, you're saying tro. Something yeah. like that. You're saying like puertro. Yeah. And you're kind of putting a nut in between the T and the O. So I want you to be very careful with that. So let's do it all together, the three of them. So aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. That was great. You see, yeah, it's yeah. it's all about awareness regarding the sounds and movements that you're making in your mouth. So, so keep that in mind because definitely something that will help you pronounce not only this word but a lot of words that we're going to be having a look at. Yeah. Um, let's do the last one, door, which is puerta. 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 Puer. Puer. Again. Puerta. Exactly. You see, now you're becoming aware of that R that you're pronouncing between the T and the vowel at the end. That's yeah. good. That's yes. good. I want you to be aware of, of, of what you are saying, and that will enable you to be more fluent in the language over time. Okay? Yes. Okay. So uh, I'll talk to you on, uh, on Saturday at the same time, but we'll be doing the lesson with Mark as usual. And, yes. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, just let me know on. I, on um, but, yeah, could could you uh, perhaps uh, send me some links with some some uh, kids television that I can start to look at? Mm -hmm. I would but highly I, recommend a channel on YouTube called Why Not Spanish. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's called like that. Why Not Spanish? Yes, I will, I will why, look at... Why not Spanish? That's sort of basic, uh, basic Spanish concepts that you might find uh, quite useful. Um, but, I mean, like that, that would be to spice it up, but I would definitely... Like, the first thing I would recommend is that you spend an, as long as you can on Duolingo and try yes. to move past the, the first castle so we can have a look at new topics and new contexts and phrases so we can make a bit more progress 
faster, okay? Yes, yes, I will. So okay. I'll talk to you on Saturday and have a great evening. You too, and have a great, great week. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.